The top five things you should never say to your woman. Seriously. Hi, my name is Ryan Keyes, as you can see in the banner above. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. If you've already watched some of my videos previously, you probably already know that I'm a little quirky, I'm a little odd, and I am going to be bringing a lot of different information that is a little bit shocking. I'm like your brother, or your lover, or your father, or your protector. The guy that will go up to that line and then jump across it. I will say what should be said, but probably won't be said because most people are afraid to say it. I actually don't have that filter. I, don't, I call it the uh, not afraid filter. I don't have it. I'm going to put myself in the hot seat like being in the first pew on the front row of church. When you get all sweaty and you're like, oh shit, is he gonna call on me? That kind of pressure is what I'm gonna be putting on myself. And if you can hear that in the background, I have it on for a reason. That's Amos Lee. If you haven't heard Amos Lee, this is called Mission Bell. You need to go check it out. This was the most amazing concert I think I've ever seen in my entire life other than you two. So this man gave four encores. This man lives still in Philadelphia. He is such an amazing man. He was a backup singer for Nora Jones. He has a personality that is dynamic. I mean, he's just, he, he's a love bug, I have to say. If I was, if I could come back as a man, I would say, I wanna come back as Amos Lee. I mean, but I'm me, so I gotta work with what I got. Today's topic, as you've seen in the title, top five things you should never say to a woman. Your woman, any woman, especially your woman. Okay, so number one top thing that you should never say to your woman, okay, you ready? Is, what is it, that time of the month? If you wanna see a woman turn into a T-Rex, that is the phrase that will pay off on that one, my friend. If you, I mean, let's look at like, that is like when Japan launched war on Pearl Harbor. Well, what is it, that time of the month? Really? You just sealed your deal. You just put your little ass in an envelope, slapped a stamp on it, and sent yourself out the door. Whoa, bad choice of words. I can't even rescue that with like a save. If you throw that line out there, I can't, there's nothing, I, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm wiped out. I can't think of anything that I could give you to reel that one back in. That is like when the computers went online for Terminator. Number one thing not to say. I won't even say it again. Number two thing in my mind not to say, you look fine. <laughs> oh yes, score! That is a touchdown for tearing your ass a new one. Seriously, I'm just saying. In my mind, I would never say you look fine. And you say you look fine? That's like saying like, ah, God, I love a Prius. It gets great gas mileage. Not, that is no, big, big, in, oh. Drum roll. Number three thing never to say to your beautiful, lovely, wonderful counterpart. God, you take so long to get ready. Ah! That's like slamming on brakes when you have coffee in your lap. Don't do it. Really? Why do you take so long to get ready? She probably could pose the question, why are you so quick? Don't want no short, short. Now I'm, I'm trying to keep this from not going to a certain level, but I'm just thinking what the woman is thinking in her head right now. Number four thing that you would never say to your beautiful woman, and this is actually kind of probably up to number one, but I put it at number four. You're overreacting. Honey, you're overreacting. You're overreacting, honey. Wow. You ever like uh, seen those guys in the market in Morocco that have the cobras that, that dance around and that look like they're gonna bite you or attack you? That's a way to get a dancing cobra to pop you a good one. Really? That is something that is a big no-no. Big, 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 big no-no. That is something that you would never really wanna say to anybody. Um, just rewind it a little bit and echo that noise into your own head. If your girl goes, but you're overreacting. It makes you a little pissy. You're overreacting is like a call sign to Klingons. It's like uncloaking in, in like the Klingon Federation and you've got a big target on your back of your ship. I had to put this on the list because I do know that as we age, it doesn't have as much impact, but from 20, 30, and 40, I would say it still has an intense impact. 
And especially when you're hip deep in a relationship, when you're hip deep and you're like, <sighs> hip deep in your hug, the number five thing that I would say, but my mom said, that's on the same level as a, your man chewing with his mouth open, right? But my mom said, you know, my mom says, does any girl really, really truthfully want to know what your mom says about something that she's either doing wrong or right? No, she wants to hear, my mom said hi. My mom said we could come over for dinner. She doesn't want to hear, well, my mom said that if you, that's like you're teetering right there. That's like putting an elephant on a teeter-totter with a mouse. As soon as the mouse is right here, you drop the elephant down and the mouse flies out of the whole picture. Think, men, put on your mental brake. Stop that shit from derailing. But my mom said hi. <laughs> Stop it there. Okay, so those are the top five things that you should never, ever, 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 never, never, never say to your lover, your mother, your sister, your friends. Never. And. Because I don't like to leave things on a negative note, what I would like to do is give you three things as a man that has had relatively some experience with this, three things that you could say that really will maybe not recover from these five things of like atrocities on the female spirit, but three things that will help you work your way out of the hole a little bit. The first one that is really a doozy for men to say, this first thing is so difficult for men to say for some reason. Sorry. S-O-R-R-Y. The word, is it time? Yes, it is. It's time to say you're sorry. Wow. Such a word. There's a, a word like love has a lot of power, but a word like sorry has a lot of power too. Like, I'm sorry. You don't have to be agreeing that you're wrong. You can just say, I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm sorry if I said that. I'm sorry you took it that way. Number two tip on how to recover out of your negligent nosedive. Okay, you ready? Number two, and this should come from the heart. It really should. If it doesn't, you need to ask yourself, what are you doing? You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Even to your mom, to your sister. Don't say it to your coworkers though. Just saying, that has a lot of power. It really does. You look beautiful. I like the way that even sounds. That's like, I'm gonna take you to dinner tonight. Number three tip is more of a suggestive statement. It's more of a statement that will help you to kind of pivot out of these other five things that you just effed up in. I would love to. Really simple. I would love to. I would love to. Doesn't that sound great? Okay, so take those things, chew on them, nourish yourself with them. Remember, I'm here practicing what I preach. I mess up too. I honestly mess up the most, probably out of all of you guys, because I'm the one that knows better. If you don't know better, it's easier to be negligent. Okay, so we've gone over the five things that you never say to your female counterpart. And I've given you three tips to recover from that horrible mistake that you made. You don't have forever. Grab it, take it, hold it, and freaking live it. Leave a comment, subscribe, join the tribe. Peace, light, love, happiness.